And here we go. These triangles are proportional, even though they don't look like it. And uh, it's not to scale, which is good, because it doesn't look like it is to scale. We need to solve for these two unknowns and state the scale factor. So we will need a scale factor on at these. What we can see is uh, this side length is corresponding with this side length. We need to identify those two because we know their lengths. And I'm going to say that this is triangle one and this is triangle two. Not that it really matters which one we label which, but we just need to be able to identify them because they did not label the vertices. So, uh, in my proportions, I'm going to put triangle one in the numerator and triangle two in the denominators for each. So when I set up my proportions, triangle one has a length of eight and the corresponding length on triangle two is that 20. So when I want to solve for x, which is this length right here, it's from triangle one, so it goes in the numerator as well. And its corresponding value is this 42 right here. All I got to do is use Fishy method, cross multiplication, whichever one I need to to solve these. I like Fishy method, so I do 42 times 8 divided by 20. And I get for x, 84 fifths. In this last one, I'm going to compare the 12 to the hua. So when I set up my proportion, I still have 8 over 20. But this now equals, the 12 is from triangle 1. So it's in the numerator, and the hua is in the denominator. And when I solve for hua, I do 12 times 20 divided by 8, which is just the fishy method. This gives me approximately 30 exactly. So, I have my two answers, right account, but on part B it said that it wanted the scale factor as well. To find the scale factor, we just need to compare two corresponding parts as a fraction, like these. 8 twentieths, though, can be simplified into, I would divide both by 4 and I would get 2 fifths. So this is one of the scale factors. If by chance, so this scale factor would take you from the big triangle to the small one. But if you wanted to multiply the small one to get the big one, you'd just uh, reciprocate that fraction. So two-fifths or five-halves will work for the scale factor. Mr.